welcome back. I hope you've all been having a fabulous summer. I can't believe we are already mid-August. Ni lo puedo creer, amigos. Yeah, the kids are going back to school. It is tax-free weekend, so all the parents are preparing for the kids, buying them school clothes, and it's just already the end of summer and we're about to embark on fall. I can't believe it. It went by fast. And I apologize for the delay in all of these um, videos that I've been making to catch up on my 50th milestone birthday gifts. I was sick when we came back for my husband's birthday in June. Then I got an eye infection. Both of my eyes were red because of the um, capillaries had broken. So my eyes were super, super red all around. And there was no way I was going to film like that and then still having like a froggy throat. So finally, I'm starting to catch up. And today's video is me sharing the beautiful um, milestone birthday gifts I picked up in Hermes Cancun. So we're gonna be talking about the luxury mall. We're gonna be talking about the tax back, um, the percentage, as well as just some tips like the security and just safety um, for when you do plan your visit. Also have another item that my husband picked up for me a few months ago from the Austin Boutique. So I'm gonna share that with you as well. So looking forward to finally revealing these items with you. So let's get started, amigos. Vamos a comenzar. Just some quick tips for you, amigos, in case you are planning on visiting the Hermes Cancun Boutique and you haven't visited before. My husband and I stayed at the um, Secrets Divine Resort, which is actually maybe like 10 minutes walking distance from the actual luxury mall. And this is the luxury mall that's close to Kukalkan. So within that mall, you actually have like Rolex, you have Bulgari, you have Cartier, you have Hermes. And so you have a lot of other like little boutiques within this um, one section of the luxury portion. If you do go and you happen to shop and you are worried about like security, there is a tax, there are taxi cabs right outside the really beautiful entrance. I'll show some video footage. I just uploaded the video for my Cartier unboxing from the item that I picked there in the luxury mall as well. So I'll link that video down below. So definitely recommend that you take the taxi cab if you do make some purchases um, within any of those stores so know that they are right there. There are a lot of armed guards, so they are carrying, and they are right there at the entrance. They are all outside of Hermes, and they are outside of Cartier, so just know that they are all within that um, first floor um, arm, so just expect that for when you do walk in. Also, when you do visit the Hermes Boutique, I highly suggest that you take pictures from the website or if you follow a lot of those other um, accounts on Instagram like Hermes Bonbon or um, I can't remember the other one, definitely like follow them and take pictures, snapshots, if whether it's whatever country that you were in, but as long as you have the picture of it because the boutique is very small and they do not have a lot of things you know, out on display. So it's a very small little boutique Think of when you go to Neiman's and you have like the little lease boutiques, así está amigos. That's how Cartier and that's how um, it, um, Hermes is. And they have a beautiful window display. It was actually gorgeous with all of the, the cups and the saucers. I'll um, show the picture of it. Both times that I have gone to the Hermes uh, boutique there in Cancun, they just have wonderful, magnificent um, window displays. And this one for June that they had was absolutely beautiful, especially for the summer. But know that it's just a small boutique. So you're gonna have a small selection of shoes and you know other accessories and things like that out. So make sure that you're prepared. If you go and you find a really, really good client advisor that's very friendly and helpful, they're going to ask you, get the innocent the wish list. And that's exactly what one of them told me. I would also say dress appropriately. I was just wearing my little mini Evelyn and then my um, Hermes sandals and then my Hermes watch. And she caught on right away. She was watching everything that I was wearing because she started to compliment me on the accessories that I had on. So just word of the watch. Um, just make sure you take your pictures and then um, just you know dress appropriately I wouldn't go all branded out but just you know dress appropriately if you have some Hermes accessories I would definitely suggest wearing them for your little visit there first item that I want to share with you comes in this cute little bag this is from the boutique in Austin Cabriol fragrance which is the children's fragrance that they released um, maybe last year I think my Hermes SA from Dallas sent me a sample when I ordered maybe um, my little buddy charm or something like that and I really really liked it so I when my husband was making the trip to Austin I reached out to my say and tell him he was on his way and I said hey do you have the fragrance and he said I sure do Laura he was outside of the site for you and I was like okay 
So I'm so happy to have this because it was a nice, light, um, fresh, clean fragrance. And I think the light is going to wash it out. But you just have really, really cute little um, images on here. And let me see, i got to pull it out from the back. And it's a nice size little bottle. So, of course, it comes in this beautiful little, um, their little pouches. So cute. So, again, you can always use these for, like, jewelry or something like that. And you've got the nice little black top. Let's see if you can just, I did not spray any perfume on today. It's super light, super fresh, super clean. And that's what I loved about it because those are the fragrances that I love to use. Huele rico, amigas. Hijo, que rico. Super, super light and clean and just fresh. Um, because it would be like a child's fragrance, right? So if you love those um, fragrances where they're just um, nice and fresh and not overpowering where the fragrance walks in the room before you, this is definitely one to check out. I'll put a screenshot of the particular notes on this one. I forgot to look them up, but this one is absolutely wonderful. So let's get into the items from Hermes in the Cancun boutique. As I mentioned, when we got there, um, I went in the day before my birthday because I wanted to just relax at the resort on my actual birthday. So I went in, I had a few pictures of some of the items that um, I had in mind just looking around. I didn't plan to spend a lot of money because my 50th milestone birthday gift was my Rolex watch. I went in, I asked her about the bags and they actually had quite a bit of bags on display because recently when I've gone into Hermes boutiques, no tienen nada on display because like they have nothing out. The window actually had a beautiful gold ruli. They actually had a garden party out in that really um, bright turquoise color. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised that they actually had quite a bit out on display. As I was getting to know the beautiful young lady that was assisting me, she actually had then another gentleman come. And so both of them were chatting with me and then other, other people were coming around and speaking to us as well. Um, they right away looked up my profile, but of course I had not shopped with them before um, because it's separate. So I, don't have, I didn't have a profile in Mexico since I didn't purchase anything last year. So I, she asked if there was anything in particular that I was looking for because she noticed that I had on the pink Sakura band on my Cape Cod watch. And she says, oh, veo que te gusta los colores pasteles, te gusta el color rosa. And I said, yes, I said, I'm actually wanting for something in Ma Silvestre. I said, do you have anything in that, um, in that color? And I said, I actually have a few accessories. So I was actually looking for a handbag in that color. And right away they came and they brought me a Lindy, a Ma Sylvester, but it was in the size 26, I believe it wasn't the mini, it was the other size larger than that. And so she mentioned that the mini Lindys, they don't really get them as often. They only get like maybe less than five a year as well. She explained it to me. So when I was walking around trying on that Lindy, because my husband thought he was like, well, it's cute and it's the color that I wanted. I said, but it's not the bag I want and it's not the amount of money that I'm willing to spend right now because I had just gotten my watch. And so um, I turned it, I, I politely turned it down. And so then he said, okay, let me bring you out something else. So then they brought me out the uh, Ma Sylvester, which was like that belt loop bag, that, um, that oval one that you can use it like as a bag, kind of like a bum bag where you could use it around your waist. And once I turned those two handbags down, um, she said, okay, pues, ¿qué tienes en tu wish list? I bet, dime, enséñame, ¿tienes retratos? Enséñame, ¿qué es lo que quieres? ¿Qué es lo que estás buscando? And I said, and so she asked, you know, what is it that you're looking for? What's on your wish list? Show me pictures. What do you have saved? She's like, let's see what you've got on your wish list. And so I was showing her, um, I was trying to find the pictures. I was trying to find the picture of the mini Evelyn because I wanted one in the blue broom color or something pastel. I just wanted something light because I had this darker color. And she said, ay, she says, esos mini Evelyn, she goes, también. She said, we don't get that many of them. She goes, no nos mandan muchos de esos. Este, she goes, que mas? And so I'm just trying to figure out like what else. And um, she had brought out a couple of sandals too um, for me to try on. And there was another customer that was there and she was, you know, she and I were chit chatting as well. And as I'm being entertained by the other customer because her husband was shopping and then the first um, young lady that was assisting me, my husband mentioned something to the young man. Next thing I know, the gentleman comes out with these three boxes. And he said that tengo una sorpresa Esto es lo que estás buscando. 
the item that came in here, of course, were a pair of sandals and I already wore them because I couldn't wait and I actually purchased another handbag that I will be revealing um, within the next uh, week or two. So this way you can see how they coordinated. But I ended up picking these sandals that he brought out and they are the of course Hermes Oran sandals in the rose pale color and they just are a very pale pale pink a pale salmon color and they are absolutely gorgeous and these and Epson are actually pretty comfy these are in the rose pale color so this is the very first pair of sandals that he brought out for me and the second item comes in here so of course y'all know I like to slide and these are super super cute and they come in this box so of course another pair of sandals and of course you have your little care booklet in here the tag in here actually is like shows the date that when it actually cleared I guess like their customs when it came into the airport um, because it does say that it went through La Aduana so that is customs um, from the Ciudad de Mexico. So these came through on April 21st of 2023 is when these actually, um, I guess, arrived in Mexico to then be sent to the Cancun store. So that's pretty interesting because on all of the dust bags um, for these items, they actually had that tag. So the next ones come, of course, in this bag. These are on sandals are also in Nepsum leather and they are in the color Grease Artentique. So these are gonna go really, really good with like my shorts or my um, denim jeans um, or white jeans when I go into the office, but really, really pretty. Again, in the Grease Artentique color, you have the blue, you have the gray, it's an Epsom leather, so they are not going to soften up too bad because again, these are in a size 38. And she did recommend that in the Epsom that you size up a half size and this actually worked out better. So these are the two new ones that I have for the Hermes um, Aran sandals and they are going to match perfectly with the next item. So the wonderful, fabulous gift that he brought out comes in this box and he opened up this one first because he said, mira, Déjame enseñarte este regalo porque es lo que quería. So he knew that this was an item that I had requested. And when he came back out, it was like he pulled the rabbit out of the hat because I was like, yes. As soon as he took it out, I was like, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. And the lady that was there, the customer, she was like, ah, she was like, oh my God. So she was all like excited as well. And it comes in this nice little dust bag. And you have the care booklet in here. No little pillow on this one. Um, this one actually had that tag otra vez. All of these cleared their customs, which is interesting. So ready to see the new beautiful baby girl that I added into my collection. The shoes should be a giveaway. Let's see if I can get it out. Yes. It is the Mini Evelyn 16 in blue broom with gold hardware. And I wanted to like cry because this is exactly what I wanted. Could I have been so bold as to ask for a quota bag? Um, yes, but that's not that was not in my budget, amigos. Honestly speaking, that was not in my budget and there was no way that I was going to be asking um, for something like that because I had already made the expense for this item, which is what I wanted for my 50th. So for me, for him actually bringing this out because this was exactly what I had showed them. This was a pilon, okay? This was a pilon. It was just like an extra little bonus gift that I um, was offered. And I was just happy to have gotten it with these abs absolutely gorgeous little sandals. And so why he said it matched was because the strap actually coordinates with those sandals because it's in this really pretty, pale pale like rose color it's a pale pink look at that with the gorgeous little blue broom um, leather accents and then of course you have the gold hardware and just absolutely absolutely wonderful and it just is so 
um, cute. I'm just ecstatic that this was the one that they had and that he offered it to me. Um, last year when I was there, I was reading like Facebook forum pages of people that had gone to the Hermes Cancun. And yes, there's people that have put on TikTok that, oh yeah, I got a, a handbag or whatever. And, um, I don't think that girl said really how much she had spent. But then another lady that was actually on the Facebook page, um, she said she spent a one-to-one -one ratio in order to be offered a Birkin. And it was a Birkin in like a, a dark color. Look at that. How cute is that? So this was just, this was within the budget of what I wanted to spend because this is really what all I was wanting. I always dress more in pastel colors. So this is just absolutely, absolutely perfect. It's a really just nice light colored strap. And, I, and just so you can see, look at that. It just goes really, really well. The colors blend um, very pretty with the rose pale and this grease arts antique. And I just think that these were the best Hermes gift that I um, purchased for myself on my little visit to Cancun. These were just like the best souvenirs that I was actually able to um, get there from the boutique. And I'm just super, super excited. So you actually have the very nice like raw um, leather. That little tag is in here. Um, but yeah, super, super cute. And you have the little buckle on the back where it's going to snap. And the little button is um, a nice, pretty baby blue. I'm infatuated and I am in love with my little new Hermes Mini Evelyn. Fabulous. I'm just so happy with this one. These are samples of Sir Um So he gave us some of these. I can't remember the notes on that one, but he gave, he threw he threw these in. I didn't know that he threw these in in the bag. I saw these when we went back to the resort. And then he gave me some samples of Twilly. So these are in here as well. Now let's get to this final little gift here in this box. Ended up getting the um, four piece set where you can kind of pick um, the ones that you want. So of course they came in this box. The Discovery set, it comes with these four that you get to pick. So they all nicely come with their own little, um, little pouch here and this one is the one that I wanted because my Hermes SA in Dallas sent me a sample of this one a really nice large sample and I absolutely fell in love with this one and so this one is the um, Amber Nargil and I love that it has this little thing this little um, paper in here to give you the notes so here is the bottle and so it's got like a nice little brown um, warm golden color and this one is it's an eau de toilette so each of these are 0.5 ounces and so this one is amber honey with swirls of smoke from the east this one is a very nice unisex fragrance he said that he loves this one as well especially like for like the winter or fall um, and this one has been like my favorite especially for like evening, um, but I can see where it is more like a fall winter fragrance, especially if you're someone like me that kind of wears, changes my fragrances out by the season. But this one smelled really, really nice. That I bought two of this Amber Nalgili. I, I bought out everything that he had because I like this fragrance that I wanted to be able to travel with it. And he said, um, you may as well get them because you know I don't know if they're going to like discontinue it or when we would get any more. And the next one is this other nice little bottle with the silver cap. And this one is the uh, Santal Mas Masoai, I think. So sorry if I mispronounce it, but this one actually has notes of, uh, let's see, this one says the magnetic union of two milky woods, sandalwood and Masoai. And it is supple and instinctive is what this one says. So that the nice thing about these fragrances from Hermes is that they're unique, they're unisex. Um, you know, they're not just, you know, where a, only a female can wear them or a male can wear them because of the notes in them. They're very, very nice. And the last one comes in this one. And let's see, this one is the Violette Volenka. And so this is another one that is like a warm, the website says it's warm and sensual. So I remember this one was also another good one. Um, that I liked that smelt uh, very, very nice. And also still clean, but not too heavy. This one smelt really, really good as well. Also one for, for day and for night. Um, and this one is not one where I would say it's more like seasonal. I could see where you could use this one year round because it does have that freshness 
and those very clean notes as well, but you have the sensuality of it because of the leather. Now, let me go ahead and give you the prices in case you are curious as to what they would be in pesos because this way you can know in case this is something that you um, are looking to purchase while you are there. Now, they'll give you your receipt with your um, the long receipt from Hermes, but they'll also give you your cobravante paperwork that you need this for your tax back. So you're going to have to get both of these um, before you go upstairs. The difference between the Hermes Boutique there in Cancun and Cartier is that the lovely essay for us in Cartier, she actually called the attendant down from upstairs to process all of your tax back information. Hermes didn't do that. So they're just going to give you the paperwork and they're going to send you up there. They don't um, call anybody down. Now, I don't know if they ever do, but for me, they didn't. So just know that you need this information. But let me give you the prices for these particular items. The price for the Iran sandals and the Epsom leather son 16 millones con 100 pesos. So 16,100 pesos both um, for each of the sandals. So 16,100. And then my lovely little Evelyn 16 Amazon and the dark blue pale nata combination says it was 44,700 pesos. So 44 millones 700 pesos for the little mini Evelyn. And then each of the little fragrance vials because they ring it up um, per uh, fragrance and they were each 980 pesos. So in total, it was 80,000. 80,820 pesos, okay? So that gives you your prices in pesos if you are visiting and you're planning, because most people, of course, end up buying a pair of Oran sandals, or if you do happen to get an offer for a little mini Evelyn, just know that that's how much um, it is in, um, in the pesos there. So definitely I will give you more information when I do the other video for the tax back. Um, it is 9% there in Cancun, so at least that'll kind of help you in case um, it'll let you know if it's uh, worth it, depending on your conversion for when you are making your purchases there at the actual boutique. So just real quick, in case you are an Hermes Mosel Vest fanatic and lover like me, I'm obsessed with that color. I have a few accessories in the um, Hermes Mosel Vest color, and this was one of them that I actually took with me. And so when we were there, I did a little quick um, just shot on my stories in Instagram and before we left I had gone to go get my nails done at the salon and they use a lot of the D&D products and it just so happens that they actually had this particular um, nail color and it is D&D 495 and it's called Shimmer Sky. Let me tell you it looks so much once it's on like the Hermes Mal Silvestre but this was absolutely perfect this little nail color and so they actually had these on sale for five dollars on the D&D website so I ordered a couple of nail polishes but then I also ordered like the gel because it just lasted a very long time and the nail polish is actually rather thick so but five bucks it was cheaper than um, OPI amigos geez but it was just a really really good little match and they actually had a couple of other colors as well um, to that kind of also was very similar to this one but I just thought this was a very very fun color for the summer for the spring especially if you love the pinky mauve tones I think this one is perfect again D&D &D gel and it was shimmer sky number 495 absolutely perfect if you love mauve Sylvester. and lastly on display I have my little lovely brand new giraffe from Cancun I'm naming her red because she reminds me of red from Fraggle Rock when she had those little fuzzy chonguitos here on the top of her head if that if y'all remember Remember from back in the day from like the 80s and so that she was just my favorite character on the fraggles and so I just thought she was lovely so I always um, purchase a little uh, giraffe anywhere I travel so she was the lucky one that I brought home this uh, summer for my birthday so she's super cute so that's why I have her here on display with my other little Hermes book so in the next few weeks I will go ahead and do a video where I'm speaking about the tax bag but also um, giving you the information as to what to expect when you do go through customs because know that when you file this tax back there in Cancun for whatever you purchase it is submitted electronically so they already know when you are going through customs what you bought because they already saw it on my record when I was coming through and so the tax that they charge you is a different amount it varies depending on what you purchase it is not a flat amount so I'll do a video so that way I can explain that and provide you more information as well as if it was 
was really worth it for me to purchase these items there um, as to what I ended up getting back for the tax back and then after the amount that I paid for taxes because of me having to report it through the customs agents. So I will definitely share that information with you. So be on the lookout for that video. Thank you so much, everybody, for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I appreciate your time. And thank you for allowing me to share these wonderful 50th milestone birthday gifts. See you back here soon. I have some more videos coming up for some of my summer finds and some other handbags that I did purchase as well that I once I came back from Cancun. So that will be up shortly also. To all our veterans and servicemen and women serving and defending our country, as always, from my military home to yours, thank you so much for your service. Thank you for my freedom. Until next time, amigos, hasta la próxima. Adios. Bye-bye.